First and foremost, I would like to say thank you very much to you sexy subscribers out there, or new followers and such. Uh, secondly, I'd like to apologise for the goose that is currently screaming out there beside uh, the window. Thirdly, I'd like to thank the modders for making this game still playable. Um, there's no way it'd last as long as it has without you guys. So, all hail and a mighty cheers to the modders. All right. Let's not waste any more fucking time and get on into it. Now, we left off. Oh, we're, we're picking up right where we left off. So, um, we had just finished our greenhouse. That's right. For the weed. And look at it up there, shining away like a bloody Christmas tree. It is sexy. All right. And so today, hey, keep it down out there. Uh, today, we're going to do more of the same entertaining stuff. I know, I know. We're going to clear more of this forest out, see if we can't piss off Greenpeace or Peter or some of them, whoever. I mean, we got dope to grow and we need this forest cleared. A big thanks to Squiggles in particular for this cannabis DLC it is not only hilarious, but so goddamn awesome. Let's take a walk down the weed lane. Yes. Oh my god. Look at it go. That is a thing of goddamn beauty. Now, let me just get that up. Beauty. Oh. And the tunes. Alright. Now let's check where we are. My memory is like a goldfish, as I am an old... Fart, ZZ, top-looking motherfucker. What do we got? We got a little bit of water. We got a little bit of seed. And from that, good things shall grow. Now, the sound might cut out here for a second. I do apologise. I just need to make sure that everything is working well for you fine, fine folks. And it does appear... That it is. Fantastic. Sorry about that. Let's get going. Now, we're going to go fire up the diesel and keep loading these logs. We probably should go and make some money from them. Perhaps this first lot of clearing we will put towards the cash flow. And then the next lot we will put towards the house, the cabin. In the woods. Now, I'm, I'm going to leave the cabin what it is as a surprise. But we need 32 logs. I mean, it's nothing crazy special. It's a very common mod out there. Um, but we're going to need a few things. We're going to need stones. We're going to need 32 logs. And we're going to have to do a delivery... And commission some woodworkers to build our banisters for the staircase. And shingles for the roof, I believe. So, we've got our work cut out for us. Now, in the last one we learned that this mod here is awesome. If you haven't got I'm pretty sure it's just on the mod hub. This is a forestry thing. And look, you can just pick up and put down your chainsaw out of that. I love that. I love that for RP. It's just sassy. All right, let's fire up the old Kubota. Brilliant. Look at that, Lance Modding's Kubota. Lance Modding, cheers. I did pay for these like everyone else, so they're not given to me or anything. Now let's fire up the um, Diesel Division Custom F2 uh, or 350. F250 Diesel. Now I have edited this mod to sound, in my opinion, better. I didn't like the whine of the 24 valve with the turbo. I wanted that 6BT 12 valve sound. And so I changed it. And here it is. Listen to this mighty roar. Oh, yeah. 
Oh yeah. The rumble of that diesel gets me harder than honeymoon cock. Now, let's uh, get the thing up here so I can tell what gear we're in, okay. Oh, we need to put the log catches back on. That's what we have to do. That's the first job this morning. Oh wait, it's not this morning for the game, it's nearly afternoon. So hopefully we got time to do one more. Um, let's not hit the tree, which I just did. Um, hopefully I got time to do one more run down to the thing. See if we can't recoup some of our losses, shall we say. Now, she hasn't got a great turn in circle. We got there. Get down here. We might have to move the Kubota I left in the way there. Try not to run over our mower. And yes, we are definitely going to have to move the Kubota. Idiot! Alright, here we go. Hell yes. We'll take this up to where we're clearing. Now, what I didn't think of yesterday was now that we've put this um, greenhouse down, it's going to be harder to extract the timber, shall we say. It's going to be in our way. I can't just do all big turns. So, we'll see how we go. We should be fine. Let's get back down here, fire up the generator, and uh, get on with it. Beautiful. All right. Everything seems to be in order. Right. Now, we've got some diesel here if we need it. Now crack this open and we go BAM we activate the service function and then somewhere here is the start engine button there it is now this is gear wrench gear wrench modding um, modding's trailer a bunch of the along with a bunch of others that I've got on here. Again, paid for. Now, I'm not against paid mods, but it is lovely when um, they make quality for free, like this Diesel Division um, Ford. It's free. You want it, you can go get it easily. Just look up uh, the Diesel Division's Customs Facebook page, I do believe. Right. Let's put these log arms back on we should not have to pay for them this time there they are the log forks all right we have hoisted them into position now let's get up there we do need to make some dirt paths through here at some point too whether i plow them up or something we'll have to figure that out let's get this up <laughs> I seem to have forgotten something. Let's try to reverse quickly. Pretend that didn't happen. You didn't see nothing. God, what a fucking idiot. Alright. Can we hook around here, do you think? Probably not. It's going to jackknife. Nah, of course not. Ridiculous of me to think I could get that angle this instead. Now, I don't know on the camera. Yeah, you can see the wheel this time. I'll move the uh, camera position around each time. If you're watching this on YouTube, why can't I connect? Oh. There we go. Um, watching this on YouTube and you want to see this sexy face. I mean, who wouldn't want to see this literal, a, you know, a blind person would be glad to see me, we'll say that. Um, got to jump on the old Twitch, my friends, where we're live streaming this right now. Whoop, and I've caught a log. God damn it. Um, 
We're off to a great fucking start. Ah, there we go. We're off. And we're jacking off in the trailer. Let's fuck this off out of the way. Better grab the uh, saw. So we are RPing this a little bit. I'm going to try and remember to do that. I have got like the lumberjack mod and stuff on. But we'll only use super strength, you know, for when things go awry, shall we say. Now, yeah. we'll chuck these into the back of the ute. They'll fetch us a little bit of money. Wait, let me just check. I haven't got super strength on. I don't. Good. So I'm not cheating. <laughs> Said. Although, you'd be doing well to lift that fucking log, I can tell you. With ease. And I do do this in real life. I am on a farm here. This is probably another thing I should mention. If you hear animals carrying on outside there. I'm on a farm IRL. And it can get loud out there. And I do have to cut my own firewood and do all this in real life, so... This feels right at home for me. Now, this one's pretty long. We're going to chuck it in there. I'm surprised I can lift it. Boom. Beauty. Let's turn the diesel off. We it's... It is... Oh, actually. What is the temperature out here? Uh, where are you? Here! 30 Fahrenheit. Now, I'm trying to get used to um, the freedom units on here. But I believe that's like minus 2 or 1 degrees Celsius. So it's okay to turn the engine. That's fine. It's warmed up. Now. If it's say minus 10 or something like that, then we'd be leaving the diesel running. So the fuel doesn't gel up. Now, that's minus 10 communist units. But I think it does marry up somewhere down there, like around the minus 20 or something is like the same. Let's get you pushed into position. There we go. Down. Now, I hope that's loud enough for you guys. Let's... Make sure that's cranked up. There we go. If it's too loud, make sure you say so. Don't leave me in the lurch here, ladies and gentlemen. Right. Boom. Now, I did forget to grab it first, which is handy. There we go. Back it on up. Probably in a good position, that trailer, actually. Now, this is a little bit more of a chilled sort of series, obviously. Because, um... Normally, you know, like, say, with the Kingdom Come Deliverance playthroughs and... and other such things, tend to go a bit... wild. Let the hair down, so to speak. But this time, we're just relaxing. That's why I got my hat on, to remind me just to chill out and have fun. All right, even though it's not sunny out inside. Not very sunny outside either at the moment. If you want to just chill out, hang out, talk shit, shoot the breeze, then you are most welcome here on this live stream. I don't like to censor any comments or anything like that, but... Uh, So yeah, you just come along, feel free to have fun. Now, let's get the uh, chainsaw. Cut this. Out here. Beautiful. Now, I'm getting over being a little bit crook, so... I'm a bit sniffly and whatnot, you'll have to forgive me, alright? 
I'm sorry. It's just the way it is. Down it goes. Yeah, in the first series in this, we were a bit loose with the, uh, the hillbilliness of it, which was good fun. So, I should try and get into the, the groove of that. It'd be cool if um, they could bring out a good Australian map, too. I've seen all of them up for offer. And, um, you know, they're good in their own rights, skill no denying the skill of the makers but it's just missing something I don't think the game can quite hit it on the head because it's made for European and American audiences but they're not dissing the modders but they're just saying they got a really hard job to accomplish Australiana shall we say but um, yeah if anyone does manage it I would love to do a playthrough so I can release my real boganism unto the world and the internet live hell yes and immediately get cancelled and picketed by uh, by um, Karen's all right get this on up here yes look at that this trailer was made for this. Yeah. For this rig. It's perfectly. We'll keep rolling. Plenty more room on that trailer yet, boy. Whoop, lift it up, dip it down. This seems to be the best method to get um, stumps to... I mean... Uh, come on, brain, get in there. What do you call them? Logs! Get logs to uh, pick up easily. We'll be back for this one next. All right. The uh, door away. Oh shit! And we nearly lost it there. Okay. Look at that weed growing strong. My god. It's sexy. Let me know, are you guys from a state where it's legal? In the states? Sadly, down here in Australia still not legal which is fucking bullshit it really is fucking bullshit and to all you scumbag ass politician motherfuckers out there fuck you get your fucking priorities right you grubby cunts all right why do we put up with them like honestly although it's good to see the um europeans putting up a fight sticking it to them the farmers good on them Get into them, lads. Get into them. And the Canadian truckers, fucking cheers to you, lads. Absolute legends. And if you don't like what they're doing, you can fuck right off. <laughs> Suck my dick. Alright, where are we? Down here. I was right the first time. They're doing a good thing. You smear those uh, historical buildings in feces. You know? It washes off. And don't you guys listen to those idiots that are against it. Government, they need to learn who's really in charge. And it fucking ain't them. You know what? what is this, North Korea? Huh? Although Australia, man, is getting bad. You know, we are watched like hawks. You can get arrested in this country for posting things on social media that are offensive. Or anti-COVID and things like that. 
tell you what, the Gestapo really came out in this country when uh, the lockdowns were on. It was interesting times to live through, we'll say that. You really got to see the world how it how it is for real, you know. Alright. We can fit a couple more logs on there, easy. Then we might skip ahead to the next day. We should have a pallet of um of weed ready for delivery. Shall we say, and we'll go down and see old uh, Cedric. Sorry, just looking at the horse. Oh, he's having a dust bath. Um, we'll go see old Cedric down at the uh, weed shop. Yes. See how much he will give us for our fine, fine. Oh shit! Should have mowed this fucking grass too before I embarked on this because I can't see shit right. where is it huh? okay there we got two there what's this one let's grab this big one okay Look at us go, ladies and gentlemen. We are flying! Flying! Fuck, I'm thirsty for a beer, eh? Been trying not to drink as much of the week. Give the old liver a break. And the wallet. Boom, close that up. Grab the saw. Fucking fantastic, look at this. Boom. And up we fuck. Yeah. You know, Squiggles, if you ever see this, um, watch the Mythbusters um, episode where they test music and plants growing. You'll find that heavy metal, that's right, the best genre of all, is the best for growing. So you get that Slayer, Megadeth, Metallica, you get that shit. Hell yeah, brother. I love you, Squiggles. Alright. Your mods are awesome. Now, open up. <laughs> yes. Heavy metal is the best music for growing plants of any kind. It invigorates the heart, the mind, and the soul. And we're going to see fucking Pantera. This month, hell yes! Zach Wild on the guitar in place of the mighty Dimebag Daryl, and we are going to Texas this year to see Dimebag Daryl's grave. Fuck yes, on the 20th anniversary of his death. And I'm gonna have a beer and a black tooth beside his grave. Never been to a the states before, and I cannot wait to see it. All right, Pick this up, cut that, put it back. Cannot wait to go. Gonna be a good time. And can we swing this around without ripping the top? Yes. Okay, so we'll get this safety net of another... The last payout was 11 grand, so somewhere around that price tag. That'll be our safety net. 
and then we're going to start cutting for our actual house because again we need 32 logs um, which shouldn't be too difficult but it's going to take a bit of time and we've got to put them down there next to the site where it's going to be built. That'd be cool if um, they had it in this game. Um, I know that Azura map did it, where you could sort of build it as you go. It'd be cool to have like a freestanding mod that did that. And if there is anything like that, let a bogan know, would ya? Don't just sit there, man. Tell me. I need to know. That'd be perfect for this. Right. Perfect for this playthrough. If you are watching out there, I just want to say thank you. I love you. You turned me on. Whoop, shit, we're running over a log. Oh, shit. I fucking should have cut the grass. God damn. Can we get out now? Would appear so. Oh shit! And we hit another one. We're gonna have to cut the grass before we drop more trees. So that's coming up. Um, what was I saying? Stupid ADHD, kicking in hard right there. Um, yeah. Thank you if you're watching. I do appreciate it. I hope that. It is entertaining for ye. Thank you very much for subscribing. Why am I stuck? What am I stuck on? There we go. Now we can fit another log on there. The um, old Fummins had no problem lugging it last time, so... get this one or is there going to be logs in the way let's take it easy watch out for logs whoa I think I just hit one hitting in the grass okay should be right now let's get this there down now I know very well in real life this is not how you fucking do it but just seems to be in the game. This way seems to pick the log up easier. Right! <sighs> oh, that might be a little bit long. Might have got a bit carried away there, ladies and gentlemen. <sighs> well, lifted it fine. Whoa, the weed's poking through the top. Oh, shit! Nearly rolled the tractor then. Yeah, might have to put this one back here. I'm a bit of a dingbat. Cut it too long. Yes. Now, I live in the middle of nowhere, so when I hear a car come up the road, it's a rare occurrence. So I've got to keep my eye on those sus motherfuckers. I'm watching you, boy. Or I'm looking at animals. So if you see me randomly looking out the window, don't panic! It's just me checking on shit and again those on YouTube who can't see my lovely face um, gotta be on Twitch that's where it's at okay really my goal for even doing this live stream and stuff is I just want to chat to people have a bit of a Community, you could say. Uh oh.
You guys still there? Did we drop out? Did we? Uh oh. My apologies, ladies and gentlemen. Did we drop out? Did it appear so. We are shit. We there? We back? I don't know what happened there. If it dropped out, I apologise. It's still recording. I'm on Starlink, so that can get a bit fucky sometimes. Now, is it all good? Seems to be. We must have dropped out for a minute there. Yes, um, I'd like to have a bit of a community going. So, some friends that, uh, can chat to online. Yes. I think, um, where I am, like, in Australia, time of day I can sort of do this, is going to make it tricky to, uh, do that. But... That's why I'm doing the YouTube thing as well. So, uh... So it can keep me, uh... Keep me sane. Because I don't expect to get far on this, uh... This platform. Alright, that looks like a free... Run. Let's, uh, park here. Beautiful. Strap it on. Strap it up. Just like your mum. Fire up the old Cummins. Chilly out there, ladies and gentlemen. Very chilly. <laughs> Hope that's still working. I have no idea. Bloody internet. Alright. Then we should be seeing the trailer come into view. There it is. Oh, fuck. Look at the gap between those logs. Damn! Didn't stack that very well. Oh, shit. And I better put these loose logs in the back here. Damn. Get on down to the sawmill. Let's get up to second. Even third! We're gonna push it up third gear. Hell yes. Cruise on down to the sawmill and drop off this shit. I know playing this game too, uh, it's very hard to get a live audience for. Very, very hard. And that's understandable, it's not the kind of game it's action packed and where you can just jam in a bunch of comedy and stuff. And, uh, that's why we've got to swap it up a bit. So tomorrow, when we go live, uh, it'll be a different game. I saw Tomato played Shadows of Doubt the other day. I might get back into back into a game of doing that. I love that game. I just wish there were more mods for it. They're getting there though. It needs that game needs like a reinvigoration like that. The developer, he's a legend. I'm following him on Discord and stuff. But I just wish they'd come out quicker. And I know that's fucking easier said than done. I'm not a game developer. I'm pretty much a fucking retard on a computer. Full stop. So. Um. Yeah. So I can't like get angry about it. Because fucked if I know how. What kind of effort goes into it. However. I just wish it was quicker and more. 
regular more features fix up some of the problems with it although they are doing a lot of fixes I should say that but I'm just impatient god damn it because I love the game that's all right get out here see Barry Barry nine grand Nine grand, that's all right. That gives us $15,000 in the bank account. So, and a bit of a safety net in case, in case we need to buy shit. Right. Get in, head on back home. Can we U-turn here? Yes, we can. Get up the hill. We should be right in third now with no actual weight on the ute or the truck. Gotta get used to saying truck. Now that I'm in America. In game. Still in Australia in real life. Yo! Alright. Now, I am going to try and stream this weekend too. Uh, which, yeah, the weekend definitely gets more... Gets more people along. Shall we say. Um, and I haven't done that in a while. Because it's uh, not easy for me to do. like to get back on with uh, Bushman too and play some more SnowRunner. Speaking of SnowRunner, don't know about this Expeditions thing, it just looks like you're paying for the same fucking game. I don't know. See Remo's getting into it, which is, you know, he's a damn good modder. Alright, here we are. This is our entrance, ladies and gentlemen, if you haven't seen it already. I do recommend going back and watching episode one to catch up and uh, see what we're all about here. Now, I know the snow is going to lay on the ground at literally any moment. And that's going to make things way more difficult for us. So, we should... Probably. Oh shit, I left the generator running. God damn it. Turn it off here. Turn the generator off, wasting fucking diesel, I don't know. Um, where is it? Stop engine. There we go. Put the uh, service thing away. Put the laptop away. Beautiful. Should have moved that. Actually, we'll move this forward a bit more. And we'll throw some logs into the uh, house pile over there. Before the sun sets and before the snow settles. Let's actually break the drone out here. And back the trailer up. Now our land does extend down to the fields down there. All the way down that way. So maybe when we're rich off weed, we can buy those fields. But we're definitely going to clear this land here so we can get a view of the town and the field. But I would like to wait until we have a proper bit of gear. Proper bit of logging equipment to do that. 
Which we will. We'll get there. Let's um, save the game. I've got to remember to do that. Because I would hate to get a couple of hours in and then have it crash on me randomly. Which, when you're running like a hundred and something mods, can happen. And has happened. Let's get this fucking thing out of the way, too. <laughs> Said here. Can I not pick that up without stupid strength? Really? Can't be that fucking heavy. I can pick one of these up in real life. Alright, sit it down here next to the implement tree. Shut the truck off. Listen to that inline six rumble. I love inline sixes. They're my favourite engines for sure. I'm a bit of an engine dork. I do like that kind of thing. Right. So we got logs down there. We've got fifteen dollars oh fifteen dollars. Fifteen thousand dollars is a bit of a safety net. Let's cut up the rest of these logs before the snow settles. And save it for the uh and put it down at the cabin site. Alrighty. Look at this monster. Absolute monster of a log. Whoa, the <laughs> grapples can barely fit on it. Alright. Grab the saw. Bang. Oh, shit! Can we... Re okay, we're alright. Just We're gonna have to take this one easy, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I can feel the back wheels are off the ground. <laughs> yep. Good thing she's four-wheel drive. Look at this log, man. My god. A beast. Fuck off. I hate how the logs have this dodgy collision. Fucking, come on giants, fix that shit. Whoa, easy now. Whoa, easy now. Easy. make a fine addition to the house. It'll have to be one of the lower levels. And out you go. Whoa! Man. I don't think we would have been able to lift that onto the... onto the, uh... trailer. If, and if we wanted to. Right. Oh, pardon you, you disgusting pig. All right. Let's get the next bit of it. Back it on up, back it up. Let's go back into first person. I used to work, um, what would you call it, as a, a sort of like a farm manager, I suppose. It was basically just me uh, on this three and a half thousand acre property. Uh, completely alone, by myself, in the middle of nowhere. And I do this quite a bit with a uh, um, skid steer. An old John Deere skid steer. 
out in the woods alone. It's a great job. I love that job. And unfortunately, the droughts of 2019 killed that farm. There was nothing we could do about it. There was just no feed. Fires everywhere. We had to uh, get rid of all the stock. And it was just not able to recoup financially, which was a shame. It doesn't help when uh, your country is run by two supermarkets who own 70% of the entire market and can just dictate to you what they're going to pay for their product, for your product. So, Australia's a good place, but it is corrupt as fuck. And uh, it always has been a very corrupt place ever since the convict days. And if you don't agree or you don't know that, then you are part of the fucking problem. Like that uh, friendly Geordies fella. I don't really agree with his uh, political stance, but the hell if he deserves what he got for exposing the corruption of John fucking Barillaro. That scumbag. If you don't know who, if you don't know who friendly Geordie is, look that shit up. That'll give you a bit of a taste of what Australia is like. Very corrupt place. But life is generally good. We have access to things we need. But, um... In terms of freedoms, they're getting smaller and smaller by the fucking day. man if we can which I know is not a rosy subject to talk about when you're trying to play a video game but facts is facts my friends now let's ch get out of the tractor and count how many fucking logs we got here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 8, 9 we got a long way to go alright I'm amazed that the snow hasn't settled yet. But it is looking bleak out there. Very bleak. Where is it? Well, I guess we can just take this one. Oh, there it is behind that bush. Let's go for this log for now. Note to self, mow the fucking grass before you drop logs. Rightio. Pick this up. Whoa, easy now. Bang. Get the saw. And chop away. Dirty. Can it lift it? Yes, it can. Now, we can get weights for the back of this thing, but I like having the, uh... I like having that logging trailer carry-all thing on the back. It is a cool mod. I love how you can just take the chainsaw in and out as you please. So, this is log number 10. So we're almost one third of the way there. Not too bad, I guess. Drop this off. Look at that. Bloody beautiful, mate. 
Get back up there. <laughs> Look at that weed growing. Let's take another walk through the weed. Because why not? Breathe in. Breathe in deep, lads. <laughs> Hell yeah. Just come out just sticky. Alright. Looking good. Look. Looking good. Uh, oh, that's what we should check. How's it going? We got the hybrids growing, that's right. How's it going? We got only 28 pieces, that's alright. That's alright, it's coming along. After we have a good sleep, I reckon we might have a pallet there waiting for us. But we'll see, we'll see. Look at this Kubota, isn't it gorgeous? I'd love one of these in real life, man. It would be very handy on my farm. I mainly just use an uh, old ute <laughs> to do everything I need to do. One day I'll get one of these things. Maybe the TYM, though. I was tossing up between a Kubota and the TYM. The TYM's got better lift capacity, believe it or not, than the Kubota. And it doesn't have any DPFs and emissions bullshit. So, it's looking like the TYM might be the go. But, I've always been a Kubota fan. Used to drive an M7 when I managed a horse stud. A uh, thoroughbred stud. Uh, it was a good tractor. Very simple bit of machinery. Alright, let's get out! Compared to like the big case that we had as well. <laughs> Bang. Put it back. And away we go. Fantastic. And thank you to you guys watching right now. I appreciate it. Don't be afraid to, uh, to say good day. Write it down there in the chat. But if not, that's cool too. Just glad you're along. Alright, 11. 11 locks. We may need to extend that fence too. She's a bit of a noisy old steering wheel, this thing. Sometimes. Boom. Just like that. We got a short for the sidewalls. Yeah, as I was saying, it'd be cool to have a house mod that, like a log cabin mod that you could build. I wonder what that would take. Probably a lot more skill, certainly than what I've got. I'm sure the clever modders could work it out. Imagine that. That'd be cool. Alright, a modular house that you can pump logs into, build as you go. Super cool. Oop, there's this one. Alright. What I might do is push this, if I can. 
like so. Perfect. That way we won't miss it next time and run over it accidentally, like an idiot. Creep forward there, bang. Alright. Boom. Oh, can you hear me? Hello. Oh, Thought the audio was playing up there for a second. Connection is a bit dodgy on this old mic. Starting to look good. Look at this clearing we've made in the forest. Fantastic. Let's get that up. What number was this? This 12 or 13? But I think we are definitely going to have to extend this fence. So I'm not going to be able to get those logs up much higher. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Fantastic. Next log, let's go. Yeah, it's gonna be a big one too. Another base level log. Oh, that reminds me, I didn't say it. I've gotta to remember to say this every episode. There's a YouTube channel called Wild Homestead with James Aloff. He's a dude. It's a great channel. Uh, he's building his log cabin from scratch, and that is what inspired this, um, this playthrough. Goose carrying on out there. <laughs> I love that fucking greenhouse, man. Just green and purple lights blazing in the forest. <laughs> it's a good thing it's legal in this state. That's all I can say. It's not very subtle. Now, in terms of RP, we uh, got chased out of Ohio for moonshining. And uh, fled to wherever this Green Mountain State is. I'm going to imagine it's like Montana or something like that. I don't actually know rights, the rights though. You right out there? Making all that noise? Huh? Should show you my uh, livestock guardian dog too. Oi. Come here. Oi. He's asleep because he's been on duty all night. Hey. He ain't having a bar of it. He's just looking at me. Which is fair enough. He's been working all night, the poor, the poor bugger. The little dog. Rat dog's here though. Hey rat dog. Alone in the world was a little rat dog. Huh? Come here rat dog. Come here. Say hello to the people. Oh. 
Oh, Don't reach it down there. Too fat. <laughs> Come here. Uh. Oops, sorry. Ready? Oh, little rat dog. With a dodgy haircut, hey? Oh, and now you decided to come, hey? Because you're not get you're not getting attention. Come here. Come here. Say hello to the people. Hey? Oh, your breath stinks, Jesus. Are you in camera? Come here. Bring your big buff head over here. There you go. Hey? Big buff head. This one weighs like five kilos. This one weighs that in his head. He is 80, no, 78 kilos. Last one weighing. Hey boy, 78 kilos. I don't know what that is in pounds for you Americans. Our American brothers, hey boy. Good puppy. Good puppy. Out there guarding the chickens and geese all night. You didn't do shit. You can get off the stink. Poor. <laughs> Alright, good puppies. Now, where were we? Oh, yeah. Um. Let's get this one, I guess. Tell you what, I got some fucking chronic heartburn today. It's killing me. Alright, listen to me complain like an old man. I am an old man. But, uh. Certainly whinging like one. Jeez. Alright. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Would help if you close the jaws. On the uh, log grapple. That's the wrong way, that's why. Boom. Yeah, are we gonna make that turn? Yes. Beautiful. Fantastic. Right. Look at this view. Oh man, that lighting is. It's. It's giving me goosebumps. Sometimes this game just brings a tear to your eye. Usually it's out of frustration because something's fucked up, but this time it's because of the weather. Man. I love the snow in the trees like that. A bit of frost on the ground. Whoa. We've been in a fucking hot summer, so... Um... Just giving me the... Warm and fuzzies, looking at this. Think of the army fire going soon, when winter comes. Hell yeah. Cannot wait. I might have actually cut enough fucking firewood this time, the last two years. Um... Had work outside the farm. Well, actually, for the last nine years I did. This is the first year I've been solely on the farm here. So, had a bit more time to cut firewood. Look after the place. It's all good, though. It's all good. We're happy here. Get this up high. Hey Let's try and roll it up the back if we can. Can we flick it? Nah. That's alright. That's a good start to the house. We'll say that. 
Now I know for YouTube this probably isn't the most entertaining watch. I um, mean you're skipping on through it, which is fine. It's the way she goes. That's why it would be cool to have a bunch of people chatting on live. Break it up a bit. Alright. Let's get this down. Beautiful. Look at that. It's gorgeous. Alright. Lift. Back it up. lost count again. What were we up to? I would like to see if I can roll this up the back if possible. And we like lift this. Flick it? Nah. Oh! It worked! I didn't get to flick it in time but it still rolled up the back. That's good. Okay. Where are we at? Let's recap. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. That's halfway. We are at the halfway point, ladies and gentlemen. Hell yes. For the walls, anyway. We're going to need... I don't know how much more. A few more. What have we got left in the way of timber up here? Let's go have a scan. Scan in the grass, alright. Got a few up the back there I can see. Got this fella. It'll be interesting to see um, when the snow comes. If uh, the logs are more visible, okay, got a few there. We are going to have to drop more trees. I want to anyway because the more clear we can get the uh, grounds around here, the more room we've got for growing dope. Start uh, marking these trees. Heartburn. Right. It's an interesting bark on this tree. Okay, that's those ones. Let's spread out this way a bit. We'll do these two. You can go. Whoa! Oh, just a bit. Uh-oh, here comes the rooster. Be prepared for crowing, ladies and gentlemen. You must have learned that I was streaming. Boom. Bloody boom. Sad bloody boom! There we go. How did I get you? No, you need to go. I would have got you, yes. And then that'll do for there. Save that to drop these ones. Um, I did mark you, didn't I? Yes. Save to drop these ones until snow does settle. See if it's easier. We might keep the forest 
this side a little bit uh, towards where the ground slopes away. But back there, now our, where does our property end? That's probably something we should have a look at. Oh, we. All right, down over here. Okay, our thing is actually right on the border. But our property goes down where I'm facing. Okay, so maybe we do need to sort of chop this way. I didn't realise it was so narrow here. Yeah, that is right on our border, so... I guess we need to go up along the driveway where it's flat. I should get a different color marker and mark the boundary. That might not be a bad idea. Let's go for a drive into town. Get ourselves a different marker. And yes, I know I can just get that from the menu, but we gotta stretch our legs, do something different for a minute. Before it gets too dark. What is the time? Apologize for the rooster. Let's move the tractor. Okay. Come on now, reverse. Fantastic. Beautiful. Let's go for a drive and check out some scenery, shall we? Unhook the trailer. Fire up the old Cummins. Listen to that baby roar. Crank the lights on. Needs a bit of a wash. Alright. Let's get out of here. Go for a drive into the town. Head to the pub for a beer. You might try and take the long way into town. Go by some different roads. Now, I'm pretty sure we can get there if we go to the left once we leave the driveway. While I'm in town, I've got to remember to get. Say what? I don't know what colours there are. Probably a blue marker or something for the boundary fence. Let's go. See, all this land out here is nice and flat. So, it would be good to buy it one day. Yeah. The road starts to curve away from where we want to go. We'll follow it and just have a look. Can't hurt. It's going for a bit of an explore on Green Mountain. Well, the uh, grass is not as frosty up here. I have to shift down to oh, oh, where I'm starting to flatten out. She was starting to lag a little bit there. So I'm not exactly sure where we are. Put another house block in there by the look of it. We can go left or right here. Let's break out the uh, phone and have a look at the map. Okay, so... Yeah, rightio. So it does just continue on up to the Green Mountain, yeah. 
All right, we'll go up there and head around down back into town the long way. Go for a bit of a drive. Nothing better than driving the old rig off-road for a while. Doing a bit of off-roading, ladies and gentlemen. Going to first person. Oh, yes. Just cruising around in the old high boy. Fuck yeah. As I said in the last episode, I would kill for this rig. Minty old 70s high boy. With a Cummins engine. But I would take another engine. I'd like an I a 6.9 IDI would be cool. 7.3 IDI. I could definitely go for that. Shame we don't get the big V8 beastly engines like our American brothers get here. Our V8s are puny. Puny little things. I'm sure they crank out the horsepower better, but they're just not as damn cool. Up the corner a bit here. Oh, and there's the snow. We must be up high enough now. The snow is here, ladies and gentlemen. Which means it's probably settled at home too. That's all right. We knew it was coming. Head on into town. Good thing the heater works in this old rig, that's all I can say. We're gonna go check out the top of Green Mountain here. I know there's a lookout. Might be getting a bit late to go up and look out today. You right? Yep, we're right. Got a view here. Oh wow. Look at that view, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get out. I can see my house from up here. There it is. A beautiful map of Green Mountain. Man. I do love this map. Too cold out here. Let's get let's keep moving. Go uh, this way, I guess. And I think we had to go the other way. This must be the lookout area. That's all right. We'll check it out while we're here. There it is. We'll uh, reverse park in here, I guess. Go check out the facilities. Would help if I turned the right direction. There we go. We're going to take up two parks because we do drive a Ford, and that's how us Ford owners roll. We'll leave the motor running. Not staying long. We're just going to have a look at the facilities. What do we got here? It's like a little cabin thing. Barbecue area, maybe. Ah, oh, yes. Picnic area. Kids play on the playground. We've got the big lookout tower up there. We're not going up there, but it's there if you want to. My boots are getting wet. Oh, a big picnic area here. Look at this. And there it is, the lake and the top of Green Mountain. Isn't that beautiful, ladies and gentlemen? 
What a sight. Almost brings a tear to your eye. <laughs> but not quite. There's some boats out there you want to go fishing. Beautiful. Alright, let's get out of here. Get back into town. Beers to drink and dollars to sink. Hell yeah. Alright. Let's get in the first gear. So I guess we have to go the other way around. Ain't that a pretty sight, ladies and gentlemen. Speed up a little bit. Now, I do know a fella up here. Who owns a mill? Might just pop in and see if he's home real quick. I want to talk to him about uh, making some prefabs for our walls and things like that. Now, I believe he's down this road. Oh, yes. We'll see what old Billy Bob can make for us. And there's his mill. The driveway's a bit snowed in, but we'll park here in front of his truck. Oh, Billy! Billy Bob, you there? Hey! Billy Bob's not home right now, I guess. Let's go and have a quick peep at his setup. Got a nice farm up here. Mm, yeah, he's got lots of lumber around. He's got a good little mill here. Man, I'd love one of these. What can he make for us for our house? He's going to make our flooring, our beams, and wall uh, fabs. Okay. We have to go see others for our staircases and things like that, but that's fine. Uh, Billy Bob will be back, I guess, when you're home. See uh, how much it's going to cost us to get these things made up. We'll be back. Whoop, try not to hit his tree. He's probably in town having a beer too, I'd say. Get down the mountain. Get on down the mountain now. It is this way, I believe. Yes, and we get a good view of the lake here. Look at this. Just stunning. Stunning woods to go hunting and camping in. Hell yeah. Some of my favourite things. <coughs> down the mountain before the sun sets. Now the snow is going to be a bit slippery, so we'll take it easy. Oh, and look at that. How is that for a view? Eh? Beautiful. Really can see my property from up here. 
We're just in those woods down there. Fantastic. And then we've got the plague of the earth, fucking wind turbines. <coughs> oh, let's take it easy down here. We don't want to be slipping. Bring the old ute truck, I should say. Easy now. Stay in second gear. I believe we go this way. Let's go up into third. Idle our way. Ooh, this one looks dangerous. And switch backs up here by looks. Hold on, ladies and gentlemen. camera probably doesn't do it justice how steep this is. <clears throat> Whoa, shit. Bit of slipping there. Hopefully we're still going the right way. Haven't seen any turn-offs. other than my face. <laughs> Just a joke to calm the nerves. Calm down, ladies. Calm down. All right. Whoop, I can hear a train. We must be getting close to civilization. Beautiful drive. Cruising around in the old high boy in the snow. We've got a river crossing. Bloody beautiful, mate. Look at that. Just gorgeous. Absolutely stunning. Alright. Oh, and I believe I see the lights of town ahead. Fantastic. What have we got? Paved road. Here we go. We are on the pavement. And there she is. Green Mountain Town. We'll go for a bit of a look around town while we're here, I guess. Now, old Cedric and his uh, weed store is on this road here. Go there and have a look. What a beautiful American town. And there it is. Cedric's uh, Cheech and Chong Bong Shop. I love the uh, the bong on the roof. It's fantastic. Love your work, Squiggles. Alright. <clears throat> we got the fire department down the road there. Got a bakery, farmer's market. I think the one thing they are missing in this place is a bar. Maybe that's something we can we can remedy when we've got the cash. That's about the extent of the town. There is something out here. What's this? Probably the oil processing or grain. 
what is this? It's like just silos, grain silos, probably on private property here, but spin it around. Beautiful. All right. So that's what the town's got to offer, eh? Watch out for the train. Now let's have a look here. I could have swore there was a bar in this town. What do we got? What's this? Carpentry. Neighbour's got the chainsaw out. He must be cutting firewood. Don't know if that's spilling through the mic. But it's certainly echoing down the valley. You can't see him. We can certainly hear the bastard. No, he's a good bloke. If that's spilling through the mic, I apologise. All right. Now, where were we? Bar. Is there a bar anywhere in this town? Probably not, hey? Doesn't look like it. Well, that's something we're going to have to remedy, ladies and gentlemen. When we're rich, we're going to give back to this community by building them a pub. And I've got just the one in mind. Yes, sir. All right. Well... Need to pick up that uh, spray paint, which I'm amazed I actually remembered. I guess we'll pick up a six pack of beer from the shop too. Surely they've got beers at the market. Get in here. Ooh, all right, they're still open. Yes, all right. Now, ooh, we should probably look at a jack stand or a winch. We might need a winch. Got a fridge in the uh, in the caravan. So we don't need that. Don't need a welder just yet, but we will. Now, what were we here for? We were here for paint which I believe is down here. Okay, so we've got a few. Let's go white for our... Actually, no. White will be hard to see in the snow. Let's go... What do we got? We got red for... Here, for cutting. Let's go blue. Go on blue. Now, does that swap out the colour, or do I have two different... Okay, I have two different ones. Sweet. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, what do we got over here? CM buy and sell. Hmm. Hello? No one's there. Well, let's head across the road to the market, grab ourselves a six pack of beer. Carton. Look around anyway. Make sure there's no cars coming. Oh shit, don't walk down in the gully. Yeah, fancy not having a fucking bar. Come on, Green. Come on, Green Mountain, what are you doing? Well, I know um, surveys in America sell beer, don't they? Service stations? 
That's legit, hey. Fuck, that's cool. Our country is so sterile, man. I'd love to move to the States. <sighs> One day, maybe. Alright. Let's get over to the survey. Get some drinks and head on home. Garrison. What do you got? Bella Light. That'll do Lux Light. Hell yeah. Be cool if there's a mod for B. Oh shit, do I have one? Uh. Oh, fuck. The heartburn is real. Alright. Yeah, B. I think I can spawn one. See if I can spawn some. Just out of curiosity. Just out of curiosity, let's see if we can do this. Uh, put the shot there. Remember to unfuckulate that once I do this. Now. I think it's... It's here somewhere. Products, here we go. Add palette. All. This is going to be a long list. What do we want? We want beer. So let's go this way. Aged moonshine. Yeah, we can. That's cool, man. Blunts. Well, I don't have B, but. So we can literally just spawn anything. That's awesome. Cannabis gummies. Can I know? Maybe it's under, like, Pilsner or some shit. The pallets. Spawn gold. Ash bricks. That's funny. <laughs> uh, moonshine. We can get the moonshine. All right. I'm going through all this. I just can't. It. Oh, that's joints. I don't want any joints yet. Okay, so we may not be able to do B. Thought I did have B mod. But it might just fall under like moonshine or something. Unless I went past it and didn't even realise. Whiskey! Yeah, I must have went past it. Let's get the Let's get some whiskey into a cell, yeah. And this is probably a good segue for this. If you haven't seen um, my oh, we'll need this for home. Um, beer and jerky review. All right, it's on YouTube. You want to have a laugh? I promise you, it's worth it. All right, we got our whiskey. Hell yeah, brother. Um, let's move it up close to the cab so it doesn't get fucked around. We got beaver, beaver whiskey. Looking delicious. All right. Thanks, friend. Let's get on home. We've got what we need. All right, let's not get collected here. Beauty. Away we go. We're off, ladies and gentlemen. Back home. Fourth gear. Let's do some drinking and driving.
the all important cut a pallet of whiskey <laughs> I'd be fucking dead if I had access to a pallet of whiskey I remember one time my missus bought me one of those like fucking 10 litre I don't know if it's 10 or 5 litre I think it is Jamison whiskey bottles on the thing oh man I've never been so consecutively drunk in my life it was awesome though felt like a king goddamn rock star with something like that all right we live out of town here and in, you know in this we need a pallet of whiskey you know, for the lonely nights in the woods literally the dream <laughs> All right, let's get this. Oh, let's get into third. It's gonna struggle. Easy. Easy. Look at that there, pallet of whiskey, boys. Hell yes. When we got the money, I'm going to put some aftermarket lights on this rig. Smoke them out. Get some LEDs into the old girl. That's a while away yet. We need to be making some serious profit before we go doing things like that. Here we go, fucking, <laughs> fucking weed, man. Oh, fuck, that's funny. And here we are, back home, and everything's covered in snow. We'll have to think about uh, what we're going to do about that, because it's going to get fucking deep. So, we'll leave the whiskey out here in the in the cold shouldn't freeze up but yeah like look at this how are we going to get rid of the snow I don't think I have the shovel mod anymore I turned it off because it wasn't working properly but I might have to look at something like that what have we got here in winter equipment Some plows and shit. Perhaps we can salt the earth. Um, we don't want to rust the vehicle. The old rigs say. So. Maybe we just get something like this. What would this go on the Kubota? You reckon? We could just buy this right now. How much is the? See, really, we'd want this thing. Dropping trees. What do we got here? What's this? 83 F250. I don't know what mod that's for. Got the Vant stuff here too. That could be cool. Hmm. Just looking at the catalogs, all right? Oh shit, we've got to turn the lights off. Let's do that so the batteries don't die. I think last thing for the day is we'll head up 
and um, mark the boundary of the property. And then that'll be it for the day, I reckon. Now, we know that this is right on the border, so we'll call those trees behind it the boundary. We'll mark these in blue, and probably on two sides. So we can't cut these. There's the rooster again. Okay, so we know that that's the boundary. Now, where would it go from here? This is important stuff if you own a property. All right. So we're actually on the neighbor's property here. So let's say here. Although we don't have a neighbor, that property will one day be ours. But it's not ours yet. Okay. We're just going to claim... Claim this is ours for now. Come on. Alright, now it curves. In, so... Yeah, I guess if there was trees here. So let's say... Here. And then... Here. Oops. Alright. And then where? Sort of... Yeah, this way. Whoa! Boom. Uh, this way. Yeah. You know, the surveyors come out. It's not an exact... It's not an exact thing. That fucking rooster can fuck off. Alright, so over here. Walk through this bush like it's nothing. Let's go here. Here. Here, I guess. Got the GPS out. Yep. And then... Over here. No. Over here more. And one day we're going to cut these down and make fences out of them. I do apologise for the rooster. There's not a whole lot I can do about him though. Unless I get the gun and actually fucking shoot him, which is tempting. Alright. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Here is the boundary to this side of the property. Now, what's the time? Nearly five o'clock. That's whiskey time. Let's get on back to the house. Let's follow the boundary. So we've got plenty of trees that we can cut on this flat area up here and expand the growing operation. Now, where's the boundary here? Over here. That doesn't seem right. It is, though. <coughs> and then over here. I think we'll expand, yeah, out here. This area that we're looking at now. Might be next, you know. Cut these all down. Now, I did mark some of these. Oh, I did mark them. Look at that. I'm getting ahead of myself, ladies and gentlemen. 
All right, plants should be running fine. Plenty of water, plenty of seed. So they're going to be okay. It's whiskey in bedtime, ladies and gentlemen. Hell yes. Alright, sit by the fire and call it a night. We'll get up at seven. We're not that lazy. We're lazy, but we're not that lazy. Oh, the rain, that's not good. And here we are, the first of day of December, or winter officially. And what do we got ahead? Let's have a sit by the fire and have a look at the forecast. Shall we? That's the wrong one. Oh, we got a warmer day today. There you go. 50. Bit of a cold snap. We're coming back out of it. Okay. That's alright. Tomorrow's yeah, it doesn't get to the really cold temperatures again until the end of December. So we might actually have the snow melt off here. And it looks like it already has off the grass. Okay, well that's probably a good thing for us. Let's get up here and check the uh, thing. Watch out for old sassy Sasquatch, he'll be out here somewhere. A lot of activity going on outside there today. It's the neighbour leaving. Mm. Yeah, we going? We got a pallet yet? Huh? Where are we here? Let's check it out. No, okay, so it's... It's slow. It's slow. Okay, so it's going to take a while get some harvested cannabis. So we can't rely on this now. We need I'm not sure what else we'll need for that, so... Hmm. Well... I guess we keep cutting in the meantime, then. And what about this way? Do we make this... the edge? I guess we do. So I don't want it to start going on down to the slope, so let's break out the red can. Hit this tree. And this one. You. You. And then up here it flattens out again, so... Excuse me. Thank you. Now, where's the boundary? This way. We haven't done down this way yet, so I guess we do that now. Let's make clear the uh, property boundary, which would be about here, I'm guessing. Break out the GPS again, lads. Let's see. Okay, so it curves out pretty sharply here. Alright, so we could probably stretch it out to here. Maybe even... No, we won't push our luck here because we've already encroached on the neighbour's property. A little bit there. Okay. Did I just do it again? I think I just went to the wrong one. Okay, that's alright. 
we know that these trees are coming down to build a fence anyway. So, uh, oh yeah, we can go way wider. That's alright. Let's not get greedy. Here. And then here, I guess. Then down to here. Oh, we're nearly at the corner. Okay. So. Are we at the corner now? No. This would be the corner here. This tree. So let's mark it. Can we mark it twice? We can. Oh, no, we can't. We can only do one side of the tree. Okay. That sucks. Does that get rid... Oh, it did. Oh. You mean to tell me I've been fucking marking double and... That shit. Come on, giants. What the fuck? Alright. And then along there. We don't need to go along the back just yet. We know we got plenty of room. Cool. We will, oh, I guess we'll just mark this one there. Alright, we'll do the rest of that later. What's the time? 1.30 Well Guess maybe that's where we call this episode, eh? We start again fresh and start again fresh next time. We're gonna play a different game tomorrow. I mean, it's hard to know how long to do these things because you can play for fucking hours. I guess if I had some people coming around and saying good day, I'd go longer. Well, I definitely would. But I've just got real life to do outside there, and I think that, you know, an hour and a half might have to be it until we actually get someone to shop, but then that might be a catch-22 as well. As in, uh... You don't do it for longer, you don't get... You know, you don't cast the net as wide to reach out to you fine, fine people. Let's save it. And um, definitely for those on YouTube, uh, I'm going to end it here right now. Thank you to you guys for watching. I love you. Um, and, yeah, this series will continue. Follow me on the Instagram. Uh, and come over to Twitch. Let's leave you looking at this view here. Look at that. <clears throat> um, where was I? Fucking ADHD kicking in again. Um, yeah. You know the stuff. Come over to Instagram. It's better over there. Um. Yeah, I don't know how to fucking end it. We'll just end it there. Cheers, guys.